What's up everybody? Welcome back to Choose Adventure California Style. My name is Paul. Today we're in Santa Cruz, California. I'm going to take you around Santa Cruz from the west coast to the east coast and show you some notable surf spots, maybe some beaches. I am primarily a longboarder, so a lot of these spots that I'm going to show you are spots that I like for longboarding. Okay, I'm not going in depth with these surf spots. I'm just pointing them out for you guys. Before we get started, this is Mark Abbott Memorial Lighthouse, very iconic thing here in Santa Cruz. So this is Stephen Lane, you got the point, you got Middle Peak, Middle Peak can break as far as half a mile out on bigger days, and then you've got the slot. This is a very advanced wave, be careful when you come out here, try to come out here with a surf partner so they can keep an eye on you. This is a memorial people who have died in the area. Uh, these were very experienced people, so definitely be careful in this spot. Just to the left of this surfing statue is a spot called Indicators. Indicators, I would say, is a beginner to intermediate spot. However, on larger days would be more of an advanced location. Now, you can ride away from Indicators all the way where I'm kind of sort of pointing to this big white building on the beach in the distance. I've done this many times before. It's a very epic ride. Now right here is Cal's. Cal's next to the Santa Cruz Wharf is one of the best places to learn how to surf in California. This is where I learned how to surf. Very gentle waves. Very rarely the winter surf can bring in a swell that can actually touch or hit the wharf and they might even have to shut the wharf down. There's how you get down those stairs right into the water. Most of the time this is a very gentle place and a very friendly place. This next spot brings us to Rivermouth, and just in front of Rivermouth is where Jordan Peele filmed one of his scenes from us where the little boy is gonna burn the car down. So right out here, Rivermouth, it rarely breaks. It needs a really good sandbar. It can be dirty because the San Lorenzo Rivermouth is right there. This is Seacliff Beach right here. So right here is 38th Avenue, also known as Jack's, also known as Pleasure Point. This is pretty much what I like to call my home break. It's my favorite spot. It's a beginner to intermediate wave, and just outside is called Outside Pleasure Point, and that building to our right is Jack O'Neill's house. Outside at the further point is Sewers, then you have First Peak coming in, and then Second Peak, Outside Pleasure Point. Moving on down East Cliff Drive now, we're going to hit up a spot called The Hook. Now, a lot of people like The Hook, and I will admit, it's one of the best waves in Santa Cruz. Me, personally, I've had nothing but bad experiences here as far as bad attitudes go. I'm not saying it's like that all the time. It's just my own personal experiences at that place. Further down East Cliff Drive is this place, Privates. Privates, for me, is a super fun place. It can be a little tricky, it doesn't break that consistent as far as other spots go, but you can have a nice fun three to five foot day out here. Further to the left, right there at the point, is trees. Trees can also be a little hidden gem and you can have it all to yourself on good days. I grew up surfing in the water with Jay Moriarty and seeing him paddle his paddleboard, but never really had any major personal one-on-one -on -one interaction with him. But just around the corner from this place is called Sharks. And one day it was me, Jay, his wife Kim, and my dad, and we had the whole place to ourselves surfing for hours. And it, I'll never forget that day, it was pretty magical. This is the other side of trees and this closer point, I'm not really sure what this spot's called. We've been calling it Paul for years, but when it does break, which is extremely rare, it is as good as Malibu. And you can ride it all the way from that point, all the way to the Capitola Pier. Right here is Capitola Surf Spot. Capitola Surf Spot, super fun, beginner to intermediate breaks you know two three foot days you can even surf that jetty to the right hand side out there is toes over and bumboa really rare spots if you guys like this give it a big thumbs up leave comments below subscribe if you haven't already hit the notification bell so you know when new content comes out now go have an adventure of your own